We are 47 days away from the election, so I need to share with you my takeaways from five days driving across the country in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of an election, in the middle of what is likely to be the worst economic situation in over 100 years. People are in pain. And they are angry, very, very, very angry. You can feel the anger in the air. The red in the red states is anger, raw, red hot anger. I just drove through six red states and I felt it. And I especially felt it in Amarillo. Now, people have a right to be angry. We can't and shouldn't try to talk them out of their anger. In a very real way, this election is about what to do with that anger. Donald Trump is brilliant at tapping anger and turning angry people against others, Mexicans, people of color, women. That's his gift, so be it. But as progressives, we have a different idea. We want to recognize that anger and the pain that is causing it. We want to acknowledge the validity of the pain and the anger and then focus on policies that will address the sources of the pain and anger and change in this country. Okay, so what does that say about this election for us? Guess what? There is a candidate who is actually brilliant at understanding pain and listening to our anger. And believe it or not, his name is Joe Biden. Biden is not, okay, we know this. He's not where we want him to be on policies to address that pain and anger. But at least he has the capacity to feel it. Certainly, certainly more than other neoliberals like Pete Buttigieg or Delaney or Klobuchar, who are just plug and play by their consultants. And frankly, it's it's more than we sometimes do as progressives. This isn't an intellectual exercise, friends. Some of us as progressives can sometimes come across as bloodless, intellectuals full of furious theories about a better world, which we need to fight tirelessly for. But that world is composed of people. People outside of our blue bubbles, people outside of our academic circles, real people who live and suffer, people who lose their jobs and their homes, who try as best as they can to raise their kids, people, as Jesse Jackson always said, who take the early bus, except now the early bus has been canceled. Working people and out of work people don't need theories. They, they, they can't eat theories. They need jobs and homes and a basic income. They need health care and clean air and the elimination of debt and education. That's why we like AOC and Rashida. They see people. And why we love Cori Bush, because she puts that soul back in governing. Well, believe it or not, and you should definitely go back and look at the tapes, so does Joe Biden. And no, he is not everything we need. I need to keep reiterating this because sometimes people take one sentence and they take it out of context. But he does have soul. And he does understand the pain and anger of this country right now. And he understands it's essential preconditions for changing things. That anger is an essential precondition for changing things. Do you hear that? Frankly, my message to campaign manager Jen O'Malley Dillon and the Biden team is very simple. Unleash him! Where is he? Let Biden be Biden. Take him off script. Enough with the little videos. Go get him out there talking to people. Sit down at a diner. Have Biden talking to some working people about their pain. Let him be a human. Sure, he will stumble. He has always suffered from foot and mouth disease, and maybe he's even lost a step. But he has one indispensable quality America is looking for in 2020. In a moment when pain and anger are our overriding reality, Joe Biden can actually connect with folks' pain and anger more than Hillary Clinton or, frankly, any of the other neoliberals out there right now. That was his strength all all along, right? That's why they wanted to pick him. He knows how to tell that other guy, hey, Trumpers, come on. Trump's a rich kid who never worked a real day in his life. Stop faking it. It's a long way from Scranton to Trump town. Power, and Biden should just call that out over and over and over again, every day between now and November 3rd. This is what it's about. If we are not recognizing and tapping into people's anger and pain, Trump is going to be taking advantage of that. And if you don't think that's true, take a trip across the country and see that excitement and see people channel that pain and anger into others and into their excitement for Donald Trump. 
rather than into big ideas that solve the problems causing pain and anger. That is what the Biden campaign needs to do. Get him out there. Mistakes are going to be made. They're made in every single election. But what we gain is a path to winning this election and fighting fascism. Thanks for watching and listening to The Nomi Key Show. But remember to click like and subscribe on YouTube and please share on social media. If you're not already a patron, please join us for as low as $5 a month on patreon.com slash The Nomi Key Show for early and special content. That investment makes a huge difference. We are not corporate media raking in the dough. It's really you guys that are keeping us going. So please consider being a patron. And to our current patrons, thank you so much. We are incredibly grateful to you. We also now have swag. So check us out on the to get your mugs, your totes, and your stickers.